Hello, welcome everybody out. Tonight we're uh, talking about the essential oil Yelang Yelang. Yelang um, Yelang is a favorite of a lot of ladies. Uh, it's used in the love potion blend we were just talking about and a lot of perfumes and um, it has a lot of different qualities. Um, and so without further ado, I'll go ahead and turn the time over to Jade who's put together a lot of stuff for us tonight actually. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. This is an exciting oil. It's not one of my favorites, um, but it's a, uh, I like it now, um, but it wasn't before, but it's still, um, it's okay. It's in between. Um, so do you guys have any experience with your Lang Lang? That's not a, that's not a typo. It is a, the same name twice. <laughs> just want yes. to point that out. <laughs> that's what it's called. Lang Lang. <laughs> it's one of those, I looked it up the first time I had to look it up twice. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you had any experience with Lang Lang or a yeah, story with Lang Lang you want to share? No? Has anybody used Lang Lang? I know, uh, um, like I said, it was, it's good in the, um, remember that um, class we had with the, uh, I was a like, Valentine's class. And yeah. We were talking about the Lang Lang in the, um, in the love potion blend and um, yes. some ladies say it, you know, it makes them feel a little bit more excited and, and yep. makes their heart start pumping yep. faster. That's right. So this oil, Lang Lang, is um, for hormone balancing, balancing your system. Um, it balances your libido. It helps with healthy blood pressure. It's calming and relaxing and it encourages playfulness and feelings of freedom. And of course, it's great for the heart chakra. Okay, so, you know, like all flowers, it's great for the skin as well. Okay. So. That is a really cool looking flower too. Yeah. Like the star flower. Yeah, it's funny. Alrighty, so we'll just scoop this um, up here. So for those <laughs> of you who are listening to this on the podcast, this is at jadebalden.com slash ylang ylang. It's kind of separated by a hyphen there uh -huh. in the middle. Lang, hyphen Lang, with the Y. Alrighty, so Ylang Ylang, like most of the flowers, it's um, for emotion, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> um, it's for emotional, um, I think for me, it's a, a lot to do with the emotions of, um, I think, happiness, okay? So you find that there's a lot of perfumes that use ylang ylang oil um, and uh, in the aromatherapy world people use ylang ylang a lot. Okay, it's very similar to jasmine and it's been used um, for religious ceremonies and wedding ceremonies um, all over the world. So they've covered marriage, uh, wedding, newlyweds beds with um, ylang ylang flower and um, you know, it just helps elevate people's moods, help with relaxation. Um, but then you remember, like most of the flower oils, they help with the hair and the skin. So it's it's amazing. And ylang ylang, like most of the other oils, any oils, it's um, the immunity of the plant. So you know that it's um, strong um, against environmental threats. Um, but we don't think of ylang ylang in that way so much because it does other things so well, okay? So you can mix ylang ylang with bergamot, geranium, grapefruit, and vetiver. Okay, so those are the good oils that uh, you can mix it with. It's interesting, but you can mix it with citrus, you can mix it with flowers, and you can mix it with um, other root oils, okay? So we're gonna go straight into the body. So we'll talk about the body, the mind, and the spirit. All right. Okay, so like I said earlier, you can add ylang ylang to um, any lotions or skin um, moisturizers just to help with your skin. Um, you can also use it for skin conditions. So, you know, like um, you can have uh, insect bite bites and you can use ylang ylang for that. So, other skin issues in general. Uh, so you can add that to your um, blends for skin, okay? But like everything uh, to do with skin, if you have like a, a skin condition that is 
uh, persistent, a lot of times it comes from the inside. So you want to clean your gut and um, take care of the insides of your body and then the outside of your body will feel better. Okay. So would you say that you would use yuling yuling mostly to beautify the skin or mm -hmm. repair the skin? It's more uh, for beautifying and it helps with like hair growth and things. Is this mm -hmm. one of the oils that's in the scar blend? I'm not sure. Okay. I just make so many different blends. <laughs> Depends on what I feel like. Yeah. Alrighty. So um, this is great for hormone balancing, of course. Okay, because it cleanses, it has like over 50% sesquinterpin, so it goes into the brain, cleanses the receptor sites, and um, it allows the brain cells to communicate better, which means, you know, your brain's going to produce good, happy, balanced hormones. Okay, so, so that's that. The next thing is the springs. So, um, yeah. would be like you use it like, in conjunction with clary comb, that's the mm -hmm. that's the um main mm -hmm. like hormone balancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or maybe if someone doesn't like clary comb or mm -hmm. something. Um, I, I believe it's in a lot of blends like our whisper, and it's in um our clary calm, I think it is. Yep, it's here. Yep, it's in our clary calm. So um yeah, all the oils that help with hormone balancing. So it's really powerful. Okay. Yep. Um, so there's a, a fun blend here. It's called the Spring Sensual Diffuser Blend because um, it helps with libido. Uh, so we can have three drops of ylang ylang, two drops of coriander, two drops of ginger, one drop of vetiver, and five drops of clary sage. So that's very interesting. Um, so you can blend that in a separate container label it and then just put a couple of drops into your diffuser okay so if that's something that you need so that's the spring central Diffu the diffuser blend okay so of course it's a great oil for libido you can diffuse uh, the ylang ylang oil for sleep too because it's so calming okay so you can use two drops of ylang ylang um, four drops of Roman chamomile and four drops of marjoram. So remember, any time we use Roman chamomile, it's like the big gun for calming and relaxing. Um, so don't use too much of it because you find that, um, you know, you, you want to sleep in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the calming blend. Do you want to... Just excuse me. Yep. We just need to quieten the kids up. Um, the calming blend for diffusing. Uh, so sometimes you have things that stress you out and this is like a super calming. Okay, so if you take 10 drops of ylang ylang, 10 drops of clary sage, 12 drops of geranium, um, 12 drops of Roman chamomile, 18 drops of lavender, 5 drops of wild orange, and you can mix all of this in a container. Um, so you can use some of your old oil bottles and then just mix it up gently and then pour it in. So, you know, if you're under a lot of stress and um, something's happened that, you know, makes you very um, stressful in, in your world, whatever is happening, um, this is a really good blend to, to use because all those oils, Roman chamomile, um, ylang ylang, clary sage, lavender, very, very calming. And I love the geranium, the wild orange mixed into it as well. Okay, because there's, there's already mixed and blended oils that doTERRA has produced. But, um, you know, if you want to play around with it, see which one you might need. Okay. So, any comments or questions so far about these oils? All right, let's move on. I really like the um, wild orange, even though it's a citrus oil, it's supposed to be stimulating. It's a, an amazing oil to calm you at the same time. So I use wild orange to help with sleep too. It's interesting. Alrighty. So the thing that's very common um, with ylang ylang is um, the blood pressure um, support. 
So you have a healthy blood pressure blend here. Last week we talked about blood pressure um, and here's another blend for you. So three drops of ylang, ylang five drops of clary sage, four drops of lavender, two drops of marjoram. And remember you can rub it over your heart and the heart reflex points on your left foot and your left hand. Okay, so you know everybody's aware of um, how to use the reflexology, right? You can look it up, up online, or you know, there's a the book, the Modern Essential book, in the front of it is a picture of the reflex points of your hands and your feet. Or in that Essential Life book. Oh yeah, the Essential Life book too. So there's lots of places that you can find the really reflex points for the heart. And if you do this consistently, you find that um, your whole system starts to uh, go back to regular um, function, okay? And um, yeah, you wanna go back to your doctors and, and then uh, you know, reduce and um, review some of the, the prescription drugs you might be on. So that was, that's awesome to, to have something to do. But at the same time, remember, we're not just talking about the body. We, it helps with the mind. Okay, so allow changes to happen um, on that level too. Okay, so there's another blend here, but this is a massage blend for your body for healthy blood pressure. So it's um, fractionated coconut oil, one ounce. Ylang Ylang, four drops, lavender, four drops, and Melissa, one drop, and wild orange, two drops. And you combine these, you can apply it on the feet and the legs. Okay, so it's about relaxing and feeling free to move forward. Okay, and sometimes, um, you know, when we're restricting ourselves, uh, our freedom, um, we we cause a lot of restriction in our blood flow as well. And then our legs um, have problems and our legs remind us that um, it's about moving forward, okay? All right, so another oil for stress. Uh, so stress smoothing <laughs> massage blend. Um, it's uh, two ounces of fractionated coconut oil, three drops of ylang ylang, four drops of Roman chamomile, it's so interesting how Roman chamomile and ylang ylang keeps coming up together. Um, yeah, it seems like it's either Roman chamomile and ylang ylang or, mm -hmm. or geranium and ylang ylang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those oils are very sweet oils, very strong um, as far as soothing and calming. Yeah, they're all flowers. Mm -hmm. um, four drops of white fur and three drops of uh, marjoram and frankincense, three drops. You can mix these up and um, apply as often as you like, okay? They're great for muscles too, and especially in the evening. There's this wonderful uh, nighttime muscle relief blend. If you, you know, mix it up together, um, you know, it helps release tension in the sh um, shoulders and um, your muscles, and also helps you sleep, okay? So this is why it's nighttime. Okay, so we have three ounces of coconut oil, Basil, six drops, Roman chamomile, four drops, marjoram, uh, 10 drops, clary sage, four drops, coriander, four drops, and cypress, six drops. If you gently apply those and uh, rub it on your muscles prior to sleep. I don't know about you, but sometimes, um, you know, I just sit funny and I have kind of funny posture. And at the end of the day, when you're lying down, you think, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I feel you know, kind of tense and funky. Um, and it's, it's nice to, you know, to massage with a, a blend. So I like to massage with different oils, um, whatever I feel like that evening to help me relax and sleep. Okie dokie. So that is Nighttime Muscle Relief Blend. Does anyone want to add anything or say anything? I think it's interesting that the muscle relief blend also has cypress in it, mm -hmm. which is good for um, blood. Everything um, circulation. Cir yeah. Circulation. So uh, as opposed mm -hmm. to, you know, the other blends that are just um, mm -hmm. massage or stress mm -hmm. oil. It's great to help you have a deep sleep and then to dream happy dreams. 
Yeah. I also noticed that that massage, the muscle one has, um, it has the cypress, but it has um, basil too, which I, I've used those two separately for pain things. So I can see how all the things that are in it and majorum, like, like you said, it does both. They both calm you, but they both um, help with pain and muscles and all that. So when you started naming them off, I was like, oh, yep, use that before for that. So I could see that that's a really good blend to like soothe everything and just put you to sleep, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. It's sort of like having your aroma touch oil because there's a lot of aroma touch oils there, plus your aroma chamomile and clary sage. So it's really cool. Um, so, yeah, because once in a while, you know, the blend that you normally use, it doesn't work as well because you've changed and you're, you know, things are different in your life. So shake it up and try something else. Um, okay. So like I said earlier, uh, ylang ylang is great for your hair and your skin um, and actually stimulates hair growth. Okay. So of course, remember hair um, and nails is about supplements and um, about nutrients. But uh, when you do that, you can do this at the same time to help stimulate hair growth. So you use fractionated coconut oil, one ounce, two drops of ylang ylang, two drops of lavender, okay, three drops of Roman chamomile, and one drop of geranium. Lots of floral oils here. Okay, and use it once or twice a month. Massage it, the mixture into your scalp, okay, and then just you know, wrap your hair in a towel for about an hour and then you can shampoo, okay, shampoo with a doTERRA conditioner, shampoo, I mean shampoo and then conditioner. So I like that. Okay, so remember it helps stimulate hair growth if you have a concern there. So it's interesting because sometimes we, we lose hair when we're stressed. You know, um, I know that my Chinese friend, she says, you know, she tells a story of what happened you know, in her life. And then she goes, oh yeah, that's the time when I lost a lot of hair. And what she was, was trying to say is, it's a stressful time in my life. And normally when we stress, well, we lose hair. So, you know, these oils are very calming. So of course, when it's you calm, it helps you produce hair again. I've seen other hair blends that mm -hmm. also include like rosemary. Mm -hmm. Um, in addition to like yeah. lavender, I see in the yeah. hair blend, so it's, yeah. that's a good one for hair and, mm -hmm. and uh, the yiling, the yiling, and, yiling and, and geranium. Uh, yeah. yeah, and geranium sometimes is a good um, uh, substitute for rose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you don't have rose. Yeah, that's right. Yep. All right. Anyone else want to say anything or? Ask any questions? Okay, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna move on to the mind. Um, I get very excited about talking about these things because sometimes when we can't figure out what's happening physically, we can go into the mind and the, the spirit and it and helps us. Um, so emotionally, ylang ylang is the oil of the inner child. So, um, in a child just remember that okay it's the child within you so whatever happened in your childhood that isn't resolved that hasn't been resolved um, and needs to be dealt with sooner or later so have you ever met somebody that uh, sometimes they seem childish in some ways but they can't really see it um, so this oil is for those people who maybe had to grow up too soon um, so each of us have a healthy, carefree stage um, in our development. We, are, we have to have it. And if we're robbed of it, uh, partly or completely, for some reason, then we still need to revisit it and, um, and have that stage. Does that make sense? Um, so in the Emotions and Essential Oil book, uh, there's these negative emotions that it's trying to release. So the joyless, the overstressed, the grief, sadness, loss of a loved one, and uh, disconnected from the inner child. The positive properties of ylang-ylang 
um, that it helps you adopt are freedom, playful, intuitive, uh, heart healing, emotionally filled, joyful and accepting. Okay, so there's a technique. I, I like to do a form of childhood healing that I call childhood regression technique. Um, and this is when you identify a pain or trauma in your childhood. You just need to go back there in your mind um, and to help that child exactly the way you know that child needs. Okay, so I can tell you a few stories here. Um, you know, one of my friends, her husband, um, you know, he, he needed help and um, he asked for help. And, you know, she said to me, and I said, oh, you know, he's, um, something happened at 12. And he said, and she says, oh yes, he's, he's like a 12 year old sometimes. It's funny. Um, and, you know, lo and behold, you know, that's the time that his parents um, divorced and um, he was the oldest son and um, he needed to step up and be the man of the house now. And sometimes um, you, you miss out on that carefreeness. Um, so anyways, um, when we talked about it, I mean, he, he cried and he um, resolved a lot of things, but it's like that sometimes a 12 year old boy needed some attention, okay? So what we do is we um, help people go back to, to that age that they need to go back to um, and they need to acknowledge um, that child um, and what that child's feeling and then we need to address what that child needs and because you're him or you're her, um, you know exactly what that child needs and so it needs to come from you. And then um, the next step is to appreciate um, the lesson learned and appreciate the experience that, um, that it has given you, okay? Um, so does that make sense? So we do, we acknowledge, we address, and we appreciate, okay? We, so we appreciate the experiences and memories of the inner child. Um, you know, sometimes when we go back, you know, that child, we, we cry, we, um, we hurt. So I had um, some people that I, I've helped, you know, they, I tell them to just hold a pillow as if you're holding that child and um, you help that child however that child needs. So one person says, well, she just needs to know that she's beautiful, she can do it. Um, and then another friend says, well, she just needs to get out. Um, so I unlocked the door for her because she was locked in the door. She was locked in the room and then she wanted to go out and she wanted to go to the park and go to the mountains. And so, you know, in your mind, you take that child out and you take that child to the mountains and you listen to that child, you acknowledge that child's needs. Okay. And so Ylang Ylang is a wonderful oil to have to help people experience that. Okay, um, so I'll share with you my experience. So when I was two years old, I escaped from Vietnam on a boat. Um, and, you know, at that time I had to step up and be sensible mm -hmm. because, you know, in the boat, if I was just a little kid crying and wailing and being silly, I'd give all of us away and then 20 odd members of the boat would die. Um, and so I had to be sensible. And then I kept being sensible throughout the refugee camps and everything. And in Australia, when we started our new life there, I had to feel, I felt grown up. And um, I didn't allow myself to play very much. And, um, you know, I try to be there for my parents all the time. And I got my siblings to help out and do the chores and, you know, um, step up. And sometimes it frustrates me when they just want to play. And I think, no, you know, mom and dad's busy. Let's help with dinner. Let's help with all these things. But I took it to the extreme and I never learned how to play. Um, so when I first smelt Ylang Ylang, it was too sweet for me. It was overly sweet. And um, so it's sort of like play for me. Sometimes I give myself a little smidgen of playtime and um, I felt like that's enough. 
right? Go back to work now. Um, but my energy needs me to balance it. That oil needs to smell more pleasant to me. So I had to work on playing. Um, so what I did was I acknowledged the two-year-old, the three-year-old, the four-year-old girl inside of me, right? I knew that she felt stuck in grief and sadness and joyless, right? I acknowledged that, right? And I told her that. And then I addressed that need, right? And I said, look, you can go play. I'll watch, I'll watch the baby brother. I'll, I'll take care of mom. You go and play, right? And so in my mind, I did that. And then, you know, tears, tears came. And that child was just was uncontrollable. I was just crying because it was something that I never knew was there that I bottled up. Um, and um, after that, you know, after that we, we've addressed the need already and she was able to go and play and wasn't much to do but at least you know you run around um so uh, then i appreciated that experience i appreciated the the fact that this experience taught me to be um you know uh, very disciplined and you know all these wonderful things so you, you don't just look back and go oh i wish it was different you really appreciated the learning that you had right and so you think back to some of the pains in your childhood and oh, I feel some people's energy right now and think about your child, that inner child, because sometimes that you're, you're, you can't move forward um, unless you deal with this. Um, so you have a lot of opportunities to just go back to certain times of your life if you weren't protected or if you, something happened to you. And an adult wasn't there to be with you and you had to kind of suppress that child and just let it go. Um, now is a good time for you to resolve it. And you know when you've done a good job when the ylang ylang oil smells better for you. Okay? Yeah. Otherwise, just keep working on it and dig deep and find out maybe there is another time and there is another time that I needed to, to need, uh, need an adult to be for me, okay? Um, and I needed not to be a child. Yep, so I'll pause for a minute. Um, anyone wanna say anything and add anything? Any comments? Anybody else's experiences or seeing someone else's experience? <laughs> I have not experienced that because I haven't had your lingling that long yet, but I can appreciate that because I know that we need to do that in our family some from the things that happened in our family. So I'm really, I took a lot of notes on that part because I can see where that happened. And so I'm excited to try that and see how it helps them in our family. Well, thank you. But can you see that if we don't resolve that, um, uh, when people get older, they start having um, hormonal imbalance problems, blood pressure problems, because it's just like they're holding on to the past. Or behaviorally, they don't get beyond that mm -hmm. age of development. Mm -hmm. and they, yeah. They still hold on to mm -hmm. something in the past and they don't yeah. want to move on. Yeah. So if you have certain memories of you, you can picture yourself, I can still feel myself as this kid. So I think when I visited um, uh, the other state, um, I had a lady come up to me and she says, I can still remember this boy calling me this name and pulling on my pigtails. And you know, just, and I'm like, I'm still angry at him. And it's so funny and you think it's silly, I know, but I still feel this way. And I said, I, it's fine, it's fine you feel that way. You just need to go back in time, in your mind, hold that child, love that child, and tell that child exactly what you, that child needed to hear. Mm -hmm. All right? And give that child the experience that she or he needed. Um, just in your mind, just, just re, replay it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. okay yeah that's a good point the traumatic experience doesn't have to be something that's traumatic to the ordinary person mm -hmm. it was traumatic to you at the time so it yeah. might just be you know your 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 mom not reading a book to you yeah. or mm -hmm. it could be your friends pushing you over into the mud or it could be 
of any, yeah. any sort of thing that right? was traumatic to you at the time, mm -hmm. or it could be a very traumatic experience, be, like yeah. being attacked or molested, mm -hmm. um, those sorts of things. Sometimes people forget about them, yeah. and they push them back in their memory, and, and they can't understand their behavior, why mm -hmm. they're doing this certain thing. Right. Um, and then if they you know, do a little bit of introspection mm -hmm. and think of back in their life, um, what, when have they also felt like this? Mm -hmm. when, when was the first time they felt like this? So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's it's really interesting. But if it comes up in your mind, whether you think, oh, I, I made that up or not, um, you can still resolve it, okay? And you can teach your children um, to do the same too. Is there a time you know, in life that was really hard for you? Let's smell this oil and bring back that inner child. Okay, and then resolve that for that inner child. Um, and as I got older, I felt like um, more carefree. And it's just very interesting because I tell myself all the time, God and the angels are there to take care of me. So I need to let go a little. You know, so it's really interesting. So um, there's a wonderful blend here. It's the Joyous Person Oil Blend, <laughs> being a joyous person, right? Um, so fractionated coconut oil, four teaspoons, uh, one drop of ylang ylang, two drops of rose. And I know rose is here as well. Um, if you don't, don't have rose, use geranium. Okay, wild orange, two drops, and bergamot, three drops, and white fur, one drop. And this here is just to smell to smell and just allow yourself to be a joyous person. Um, when I work with some adults, uh, you know, healing um, energetically, when I say, hey, can you find things that you like to do? What brings you joy? And sometimes it's so difficult for us adults to think back to what we really like to do because we've been so used to um, having to, bite the bullet and do what has to be done and just, you know, work and you're suppressing our happiness. Um, and it doesn't have to be that way. And when I learned that, I was able to do things that I like to do and still make a living and still have a life. Um, and it's funny because the universe moves in mysterious ways to allow you to be happy because you allowed yourself to be happy. Yeah. So. That's the Joyous Person Oil Blend. And the next one is Harmony Personal Blend. Okay, um, so there might be some conflict within you. So you have this inner child, this adult, and um, this lack of trust of self. And so it's just conflicting and inside you're, you just, um, there's no harmony. So this one here, you, it's fractionated coconut oil, four tea, tea, teaspoons. Um, ylang ylang two drops, frankincense four drops, geranium four drops, and vetiver one drop. All right, um, so that will help because there's times when you want to be this mature adult, and then that little child comes in, and then it's like they're fighting. <laughs> they, you know, you don't know what to do, and um, this here brings more harmony inside. So that means you know you can have both in your life. Um, in an in interesting way of uh, applying this is um, we were reading and learning from uh, T. Harv Eka. You know, he's a, a motivational speaker and he, he teaches people how to um, invest money and everything. So he says, well, you have to kind of give that inner child some fun play money. You know, so you have to um, plan it out and budget it out. And then you have your sensible adult, you know, whether that you have money to save. That's really interesting because then once you satisfy this in a child, you you no longer begrudge having to be mature and um, you know save and be sensible. So it's awesome to to feed both sides of you. All right. So that's the mind. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments about this? All right, we'll move, move on. Okay, the next one is the spirit. So the root of lack of joy is not because there isn't joy around us. Okay, no matter what's happening, there is. It's because somehow we don't feel deserving. We don't feel deserving of joy. 
Okay, so we don't feel deserving of joy because we've judged ourselves unworthy due to some subconscious measurement, right? And so what, um, when you are conscious of this, then you can intentionally decide that you are loved and are enough for God. Um, you no longer reject yourself and you soon find that others love and accept you too. Okay. Um, it's sometimes we just feel unhappy and you think there's nothing good in life. I can't see anything good. It's because we've chosen to do that. Okay. Um, because we feel like we don't deserve it. So just go back to the subconscious and say, hey, wait, wait, I have self-love. So here is a self-love, self-accepting bath. Uh, so two drops of ylang ylang, two drops of patchouli, cypress two drops, bergamot four drops, and add some Epsom salt there and just lay there and enjoy. And as you soak, repeat to yourself, I fully love and accept myself. Um, so, you know, it's interesting. We have a huge bag of Epsom salt and our kids just love putting it in the bath and they soak and um, they just, it's a good habit for them. Um, so I didn't grow up like that. And it's nice to teach our kids that now. Um, and they just use whatever oils they, they want. Uh, we had a few accidents. <laughs> the oils fell and broke and things. But, you know, in general, they're good. They know how to do it themselves. So it's fine. Okay. So that's your self-love, self-accepting. Because sometimes people blame others for um, being rude and being whatever to them. Sometimes we're, we're inviting it because we've done, we don't love and accept ourselves. Alrighty. So as mothers and wives, um, you know, I, I used to parrot uh, what's been said by many women in, of, of the ages, you know, so you, you hear this and you think, oh yeah, I've said that too, right? If I don't do it, then it will be done. Okay. <laughs> or no one acknowledges how much I do, right? So this is very common. I hear this in my mind and sometimes I just parrot it and I hear myself saying it and I think, huh? you know, I shouldn't really be saying that. Um, so, you know, if I don't do it, then it won't be done. You know, I have to do it kind of thing. Um, so, you know, over time we feel immense pressure of responsibility weighing down on us. And so, um, I felt depressed and, um, unappreciated and used, right? And it's just because, you know, we think that way. Our vision is clouded and that's all we see, right? So I, you know, at times I feel like my husband, my children, they haven't appreciated me enough. And, you know, I, they, they should help out more. But in our minds, we should remind ourselves, um, you know, that we don't have to be this overly noble martyr, right? Um, you know, because we, we're taught to be selfless and buck up and just, you know, serve and we don't have to. We can balance, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I choose, I, in reality, I choose to... Uh, not see and not appreciate how much uh, I receive in blessings because I've I haven't loved and appreciated myself. So once you feel gratitude for yourself and um, that you in all the things that you've achieved and you know all the things that are good about you, as soon as you love and appreciate yourself, you teach others to love and appreciate you. You teach your children to love and appreciate you. And then people will naturally step up and help out more. So I find that, um, you know, the last, since I started using essential oils, there's a shift in our family dynamics um, because I shifted. Okay. Um, and of course, everybody else shifted too. So, you know, I, I really appreciate um, our whole family working together. So that's, it's changed the way I looked at things. I've had lots of friends say, well, how, how do you, you know, how can I just let go and do nothing and share the load with the family? They don't do anything. They don't help out. So, anyways, I'm going to pause. Anyone with questions or comments? So, do you think about um, sometimes, hey, it's always me. I always bail the kids out. It's always me. I'm going to do everything for everyone. <laughs> so, sometimes when we think that, um, you know, it's, it's what we're communicating to them and um, to the world, okay? So I have had my friend, I say, well, did you share with your husband how you feel? Did you, you know, ask him if he could take dinner sometimes? Sometimes you just assume that they don't do it and then you just take over. 
So my friend texted Preventing me. Preventing them from being able uh -huh, to do it. Yeah, my friend texted me and she's like, oh my gosh, my husband did dinner tonight. And I said, there you go. Just um, anyways, but when we say things like, you know, I, I'm the only one doing things around here or whatever, it teaches our family two sad things. So one is that they're incapable and untrustworthy. So you can't trust them to take care of the house. You can't trust them to take care of dinner, right? Um, the subconscious message we send out is that they can't do it. And then we get frustrated further when they believe it and manifest it that they can't do without our help. Um, so I'm really grateful for doTERRA because there's times that I had to travel. And when I left and I came home, the house was still in order and actually better um, than how I left it. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. you know, and then I really felt humbled and, and uh, surprised at myself for thinking that um, if I'm not there, things will fall apart. So I learned a big lesson there. So the second thing that we subconsciously communicate is that um, they are responsible for our happiness, right? So, you know, what if they help out, I'll be happy. If they do this, I'll be happy. So sometimes the subconscious guilt trip, which, you know, I lived with all my life. My mom didn't know that she was doing that. Um, a whole family, you know, it, they just feel like they're not good enough. And so they, they want to really work hard to make you happy. But at the end of the day, um, they're, they're battling a losing battle because you have decided not to be happy. Okay. And so um, you can't truly be happy by some extrinsic force. You need to choose to be happy and satisfied with yourself. And then, um, you know, the magic happens and everyone is happy and satisfied with you because you're happy. So, and they want to please you more because it's easier to make you happy. So, it's very interesting. Okay. So, Yilang Yilang teaches big lessons. Any thoughts? All right. Okay. I do remember you going over this kind of stuff with me like months ago and I did have, I did see a big change in our family because like you said, I'm not responsible for their happiness. They're not responsible for much. And when I let them take responsibility, then things just kind of change, you know, and it's not like you don't hit a slump now and then, but yeah, I trusted them more. They trust me more and you acknowledge each other. So it really changes you know, those things. So I, I have seen that. I have experienced that. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. And then we wonder why we're so stressed. Um, but now it's, it's nice to go, wait, let's, let's change in a different way because the, the guilt trip and the complaints haven't worked, <laughs> but actually it's hurt them more. Right. Um, so now the next thing we can do with uh, Ylang Ylang is to help ourselves feel more gratitude. Um, so we all want our children to be happy, right? We, we want to teach them to be happy. We do everything we can to help them find happiness in the world. But we need to show them an example of happy. We need to find our happy place, where we're going, what we're doing. And, um, and then, you know, we open our hearts um, to, to blessings. So one, one way to find happy is to be grateful, okay? And to choose to be grateful. So I tell people all the time that um, you know you you can be a conduit for blessings, right? Just by being more grateful. Okay. Um, so, do you feel like giving more to a person that is grateful? They're more grateful. I do. There's people that I, I've helped and I've helped, and then they they don't say thank you or uh, very ungrateful. And then at the end of the day, I don't feel motivated to go back and help them some more. But when I see people that are excited and are grateful, um, I want to bless them more. So I feel like the universe is the same. When we're grateful for stuff, um, God and angels and the universe will keep blessing us some more. So you keep smelling that you lang your lang, rewire your, your brain neurons and um, allow yourself to have a more grateful, um, accepting attitude towards yourself and um, everyone else. Because I, I in my, imagine in my mind that I'm a child of God and some days I'm allowed to switch off and I'm allowed to just fall asleep and then let things, you know, happen. And then, uh, you know, because every time you sleep, you do. You trust that 
the ceiling doesn't fall and you, you trust that you know the world holds together when you wake up uh, so like I know our kids have been like that and they're great examples to us because if they feel sleepy no matter where they're at I mean if they're at the table they've slept in their high chair if they're sitting there playing I know my kids watch the cookies um, cook in the oven and they're asleep on the floor in front of the oven. So, you know, if you just feel tired, just fall, you know, they just fall down and sleep. So what happens is you have this adult that picks them up and tucks them in. And um, so I feel like I'm allowed to do that sometimes. I'm allowed to let God and angels do their job and I'm allowed to let go. And at the end of the day, I say, Look, that's all I can do. And then I smell that ylang ylang, pretend that I'm this happy kid. And fall asleep in front of the oven. Yeah. <laughs> well, I should try that one day. <laughs> yeah. We'll but, just yeah. take a picture and put it on Facebook. <laughs> In reality, we're not alone. And, um, you know, it's, just let go slowly if you can't let go more um, dramatically. But in your mind, picture that you've got all these helpers, the invisible helpers around you. Um, if you like, use more probiotics because it allows you to work synergistically with others. It's an interesting thing I learned with probiotics. Yes, that's a lot of things. That's a lot of you, Lang Yulang. Lang Lang. Let's, let's hear it for Jane. Thank yeah, you for putting all that together. <laughs> let's see it. The probiotics and steaks is taking it right away. Take it right away. It's a yummy. <laughs> like always, there's a 10, top 10 uses for you, Lang Yulang uh, oil. Um, and you can download that PDF. I'll just look at it there. That's just the ones from above. And I think that's um, pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So, yep. To sum it up, it's great for skin, great for your heart, your blood pressure, and helps you feel more playful. And your libido. Yes, that's important. I just want to throw that in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Any questions that anybody want, wants or to ask before comments. we um, end the recording here? Oh, that's all right. Like always, we're very grateful that everybody's come on. Um, we're, we're grateful for you being here, those who have joined us tonight. Uh, those who are listening on the podcast yes. or watching the video Thank later you. on, we are very grateful for you. Um, as always, if you do think of any comments or questions, um, you can always put them down here in the comment section. Yes. We'll read all those and, mm -hmm. and other people will get mm -hmm. um, some knowledge from it as yeah. well. So yeah. fantastic. Uh, Thank please you. share your stories. Yeah. Thank you everybody for joining us tonight. I'm going to go ahead and end the recording. <laughs>